um, road wins are really hard to get, and, and I'm excited about this one. Uh, Dane Deja, uh, Ty Rogers, uh, both were, were huge tonight. We've, uh, we've been on Coleman's back uh, for a long time. Coleman's been a, such a dominant player for us on both ends of the court. And uh, Dane hasn't gotten a ton of minutes with the way we've been playing. And, and uh, uh, for him to answer the call and be ready um, speaks volumes to, to who he is as a person and, and what a great teammate he is. I uh, couldn't be more proud of him. Uh, Ty Rogers, I thought, was dominant. Uh, I thought Ty dominated the game. Um, everybody keeps putting five men on him, and we just keep laughing because he's our best post player. Uh, he's got great low post moves and feet, and um, you know it's 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 um, you know five of six and double double, and and uh, it's 27 minutes. And I thought defensively he was he was all over the place. So uh, those two guys, I'm going to single out. Obviously, uh, Terrence got back, and and uh, I thought the job he did on Bruce. Was, was was huge. I think Bruce is one of the top point guards in college basketball and, and obviously in this league. And uh, I thought his bulldog mentality, bulldogging over screens, uh, his size and strength is 6'6", 220. Uh, then it gave him a little uh, injection in, in terms of his energy and, and getting out in the open court. So um, uh, we knew we would get a, uh, uh, an angry Ohio State team, and I thought they played great. Uh, Chris, a terrific coach, and and um, you know they they threw everything at us with the one three one, and and uh, uh, you know they're they're going to win a lot of games here down the stretch. Go ahead, Scott. Is, <clears throat> how important is it for Ty to maybe offense rebound like he did when he's being loosely guarded and maybe has free run at the rim? Yeah, it's a it's it's not rocket science. That's one of the things he was elite at as a freshman. He was one of the top guys in the Big Ten for 40 minutes, uh, rebounding the basketball. And again, we played him a lot as a four and five last year. And um, but uh, you know when when he's around the rim, he's extremely uh, uh, effective. He's got long arms. He's got very very strong hands, and and uh, uh, doesn't get bumped. So those are get some easy baskets that way, and and uh, help change the game. I know it was because of Coleman's foul trouble mostly, but did you feel like this would be a good matchup for Dan? And, and did you think you would get what you got out of Imani tonight? Too? Well, I thought I, I was proud of Imani and, and Draven both as freshmen. Um, you know, I haven't got a ton of minutes, and Imani's been out another a good while with his with his back. Um, but yeah, those and you know, we had those guys. We had a lot of freshmen out there for three or four minute stretch, and and uh, at the end of the half, and and we didn't get hurt. And you know we had a we had a little bit of a lead and trying to protect Terrence and Coleman and and uh, those guys did a great job, but uh, you know Dane's been there done that Dane's Dane's been a, a really good player in this league and and um, although things have shifted a little bit in terms of style, um, you know he's big he's strong um, and and he's uh, and he can impact the game and like I said I just thought he was effective at both ends of the court tonight. You said road wins in this league are, are a big deal. When you score the way that you, this team has scored, what enabled your offense to travel with you and put up as many points as you did? Obviously? Yeah, I think we're seven in the country in OER um, in Ken Palm or something like that going in. Um, you know, and I, again, we're a little bit unorthodox. I, I get it. You know, our little booty ball, uh, as you call it, as we call it, to to get different post ups and match ups. You know, a lot of that starts with Marcus and Ty. Um, but uh, the one thing I was very happy with today is we took threes. Uh, our last game, we, we turned them down, and we're a really good shooting team. And, and uh, um, it was nice to see TJ get going with, from three. Um, you know, but Luke Goody, Quincy, Justin, um, all those guys are really good three-point shooters. So uh, we're just a little unorthodox. And you know, when you can when you can get some easy twos like we did for Marcus, you can get to the foul line. Um, I don't know how many turnovers we have. Can't see. Six, you know, we're not turning the ball over. You get a lot of opportunities. Offensive rebounds help as well.
Brad, did, with Terrence, does that go back to the closing of that Indiana game, or yes. is it just it does? Sure. And then did you sure. see how do you build on that over the course of the last couple of days? Yeah, it's just a it was just a end of the game make the make the win plays, make the right plays, and and he's done that throughout his time with us, and and uh, um, you know he's he's he, he impacted winning, and and you know he's a um, he's a kid that we all know is electric in the open court. He's, um, you know, he, he found some opportunities tonight against one of the better defensive teams in the country in transition. Ohio State, I think, is fourth in the country in fewest transition points, and uh, Terrence was still able to, to get out and exploit. Maybe big picture-wise to get Big Ten Road win, Quad One win. Just what does that maybe mean for kind of where you stand in maybe various races? Means we're seven and is that right? What are we seven and three? It means we're halfway through league. We got a lot of them to go. Anytime you win on the road, it's a good thing. But um, yeah, you, you, you want to, it's a it's a quality win against a really good team, and um, those 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 always help. But you know me, I'm one game at a time, one day at a time, and, and uh, this is day 16 for us in a row. So um, I think we had not, what, we have nine games this month. Nine. We, I think we had a nine game month. So a day off is much needed, and uh, then we can we can go back to it. And, but it's a nice it's a nice way to kind of put an end to that streak. How much confidence can that four minute stretch to close the first half with Dre and I give you? Was nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you 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 want to end the half the right way, and and you've got guys out there who haven't haven't done it, and yet we did it. Or Amani got it just a nice layup and. And um, and yet they did it defensively in a, in a, at that end of the court as well. But back, you mentioned your uh, Ohio State's talent. You talked positively about Chris Holtman. I'm curious as you watched this team and the buildup, maybe from your eyes, why hasn't it worked for them as much recently? It's a record. 13 and 8. 13 and 8. I, you know, I, I, and I, I'm not there every day. I don't know. That'd be just complete. Um, you know, complete speculation. Um, I, so I, I don't do that. Um, I just know when I look at him, I know, you know, battles a guy who's gotten 20 a night this late for a long time. I, I've got so much, uh, so much respect for, for Bruce. Uh, and, uh, you know, and then I thought the, uh, uh, the Gale kid is maybe as improved as anybody in our league. And, you know, we were very concerned about him coming in, you know, when he gets 16 to 18. Uh, again, they're 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 really efficient. So, um, you know, they got good depth. They got our car in the middle and Zed backing them up. So, um, I don't I don't have a great answer for that, but I do like their team, and I know that they're very hard to prepare for. And and uh, I, I thought they played great tonight. End of the first half might have been the best defensive stretch of the game. And that obviously was one nice. What did you like about that? Maybe what did you think about the defense overall tonight? You know, I think it's give Ohio State a lot of credit. I thought they, you know, they did a good job. It became a lot of isolation stuff. Um, I think the they made four threes. You know, one of them was with 1.7 seconds to go on and out of bounds when and Quincy messed the coverage up. One was off an offensive rebound that we should have had. Um, we didn't give them any threes. And, and that's what we do. But I, I thought it would force them into some isolation stuff. Uh, and they're going to score some baskets. And again, it makes it's, it becomes really hard to make a lot of twos. Um, but I, I thought our defense on that stretch was great. I thought our guys had great energy. I knew going in I might have to play some more guys because of, of this stretch a little bit. But um, I'm never very comfortable without Coleman on the floor, to be truthful. Um, and I thought we responded in a great way. Right, right halfway through here, you faced five games without Terrence in the Big Ten. Now you got him back. You feel like you're starting to get that momentum you had before with Terrence. And what does that mean for your team here in the second half? Well, I think it's not just him. I think it's the first time we've been whole. You know, I, I think in quite some time, getting Amani back. Um, you know, we we we've, we've been without Nico for for a long time, and and tonight wasn't. A night for Nico, but he's he's we, he's shown promise. So um, all those guys have been really really good for us in different points of the season. So uh, obviously, you know, Terrence is a guy that's a it's a focal point of most opponents. 
but I think it's very comforting to me to know that we've got the other guys as well that, that I feel good good about. And, and like I said, I'm just tickled to death for Dane. Um, you know, that as, as our bench develops, you need that in, in, the, in February and March and beyond. Joey. What have you seen from the rest of your team in these four games and even the first half tonight as they tried to incorporate Terrence back? I mean, obviously you guys are playing well without him. How have you seen them kind of adapt in those four and a half games? You know, I, I think it's a I think one thing Terrence has done is not forced anything. I think it's been what he's how he's played. He knew we were playing at a at a really, really high level offensively. I mean, I think we were two in the country in, in offensive efficiency when he while he was gone. Um and it's just finding that right dimension. I, you know, I've said it many times. We don't run a lot to Terrence, and um, you know, we just, we just, you know, he gets it organically and through through offense and so on and so forth. But um, he's been very patient, and I think that's a tribute to him being a great, great teammate. And why why he's an uh, outstanding teammate that everybody likes. Okay, so I'll ask about that text. It didn't hurt you tonight, but in the long run. Yeah, and I had both officials talk to. I had a couple of the officials talk to him, and you know, I think it was frustration, and and uh, you know, that's 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 uh, uh, that's stuff that we can't tolerate and can't happen because it it, it didn't hurt us tonight. But uh, like I said, he's got to understand his value to our basketball team and his importance to our basketball team, and uh, understand that that stuff can't can't happen. Thank you.